All right, this pellet gun rival firearm. And today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to try to make it rival it. And the reason why I use this gun here, this is a hot son. I think it's a Mod 130, Mod 130 QE. It is a basic break barrel 30 caliber pellet rifle. Big old muzzle on that thing. And the reason why I use that is because I go for something really simplistic. I don't really want to go through all those air things, you know, the the CO2 and the pre-charged pneumatics and stuff like that because they're expensive and they might take a little bit of time getting used to. Something like this is like 200 bucks. It's very cheap. It's very easy to use. It's a brake barrel. Simple as that. And what I want to do is I want to see how powerful I can make this with very comparable to a 22. And I'm going to use a really short barrel pistol to, to compare this to. So what I got here for pellets today is the Predator Polymag. And the reason why I'm using this particular ammo is because this is, well, it's got this really nice tip that looks like it will possibly penetrate pretty well. It is a 44.75 grain. And to compare it to that, I have 22 long rifle and 45 grain. So 44.75 rounded up to 45 grain versus 45 grain. This is Federal American Eagle. This is meant for suppressors. And basically, I made it a little bit heavier so that its velocity is slower, but you still retain good energy. So we're going to see how these might compare. And if I can't get this to compare to the 22, I'm going to diesel them. I'm going to put some petroleum jelly in there and see what kind of velocity we got. We've got some wood here. We're going to shoot that. i got a ripe pineapple. Definitely going to see what kind of velocity and accuracy we get at the same time. I'm going to do my standard uh, clear ballistics test just with clear ballistics, just to kind of see with plain clear ballistics what kind of penetration we got. And then I have kind of a special test here. This is going to be my skull simulation here. Okay, this is a really interesting thing that I've made here. I have my quarter inch medium density fiber board to kind of represent our skull. And in front of that, we have just, you know, about a millimeter or two of clear ballistics. In front of that, I have some leather. I have about an inch of clear ballistics to kind of represent like, uh, you know, some tissue between your skull and your brain. And this ham pack here is your brain. So let's see if we can get into that ham pack. That might be an interesting test. And as always, I got my steel silhouette out there a little bit of a distance. We'll launch them off at that distance as well, uh, maybe 50 yards or so, and just see if I can hit that target with that pellet gun and that short barrel pistol. So let's get started with this test. All right, first up, we have our 22 pistol. Let's see what kind of velocity we can get with this. 45 grain. 733. 745. 731. 755. 729. So let's switch on to that pellet rifle. We'll see what kind of velocity we get, just standard. And then we'll diesel them and see if we can match this. All right, just a standard pellet, no dieseling involved here. Let's see what kind of velocity we can get with this. 520, 515, 519, 521, 524, not bad. Let's diesel these things and see what we get. All right, just a nice spot of petroleum jelly in there in those pockets. I like petroleum jelly because get an even amount that fills that uh, hollow cavity there. So let's see what we'll get with this. 658. Let's try another shot here. 690. We'll try again. All right, let's try another shot. 660. I think that one low one, I put too much petroleum jelly on it. It was not just in the pellet pocket, but the ones that I got over 600, I put them just in the pellet pocket um, in the base. So let me try one more. So just in the pellet pocket, not on the breech face. I think this probably does better. 712. <laughs> Knocked a screw out of this. For all that force so 712 was our high with our 22 with basically the same weight projectile we had like 729 for our low so we're really close and we also have to remember this kind of is a special tipped pellet so 
Who knows? Let's hit our ballistic shell block first and see what we get. All right, first up, we have our 22 long rifle and our pistol here. Let's see what we get with this. All right, so it looks like we tumbled a little bit and our damage path is actually only at about six and three quarters. Let me hit it one more time just to confirm that. All right, I'm gonna do it again. That time we got about seven and three quarters. So let's hit this with our pellet gun and see what we get. All right, first up we have our non-diesel pellet. I fired um, a couple through the chronograph to make sure I got my velocity back down to you know 530 or so um, to get the remaining petroleum jelly out of the gun. So we're back down to standard non-diesel. So let's see what we get here. All right, just how it is, it looks like it busted off that tip, but our damage path is at five and a half, so it's really, really close to that 22. Well, let's diesel this thing and see what we get. All right, diesel pellet. Let's see how far this will go. All right, it pretty much matched that first 20. Uh, the actual pellet is actually deeper than that first 22 shot. Um, but our damage path is at six and a quarter rather than about six and a half with the 22. But the actual pellet itself is at five and three quarters and the actual 22 bullet is like at five and a half. So this kind of mirrors what we saw with our Chrono chronograph velocities that uh, just a little bit more at that 22 gives just a little bit more punch um, versus a diesel pellet. So what I can say here is this definitely does rival that 22 for what we're seeing. We're actually seeing relatively similar damage. Like we can see kind of a damage path with our diesel pellet. So the diesel pellet and the 22 are very similar, but the non-diesel pellet, not quite as much. So let's shoot some other stuff and see what we get uh let's move on to the skull simulation here this is probably something a lot of people want to see you know what kind of damage will this do all right so i have a feeling people want to see what this will do non-diesel so i'm going to do that first because i think it might not go through let's see what we get all right so actually busted the the package of this ham and it, it looks very interesting i'll show it after i shoot it with the other stuff so i can keep this together all right, let's try it with our 22 here. That passed through everything and actually went in the gel. So pretty impressive. Let's try our pellet gun dieseled. All right, dieseled pellet. Let's see what this will do. Did not enter the gel block. Let's take this apart and take a look here. All right, so here's our impacts and it looks like the diesel pellet actually the tip came in this so that would indicate our brain hit here <laughs> so what we got here so 22 went through um interesting though because our our diesel pellet and our regular pellet here you know not a huge difference here it's very interesting but what we can see, if you can actually see, it's kind of hard to see through this pack maybe, but there's actually two impacts here. So maybe our diesel one is actually in that ham. Let me get my knife out and cut into that. So I'm going to cut right into this here too. So there's some fiberboard here. You know, I don't even see any pellets in here. There's a part of that pellet tip right there. And there's one in here, so... Let's cut right into this here and see what we got in this ham. Wow, there's pellets in there. 
both of them here. So let me line this up a little better. But basically, you know, the non-diesel pellet went this far and the diesel pellet went about that far. Which this would be your brain and our non-diesel pellet and our diesel pellet. See, our diesel pellet expanded more and penetrated more. That looks like a bullet to me. I could just imagine if this happened to somebody, you know, the coroner would be like, what is this? I realize it's a pellet because that looks like a bullet. Nice. <laughs> Let's shoot from a little bit of distance, and then we'll shoot our wood and our pineapple. All right, decided to come back to 50 yards here. And we'll see what I can do with this little pistol first. I missed a couple. Let me try that pellet gun. All right, with this, I'm not even going to diesel them at this distance. I don't think that would really be a benefit uh, for longer range accuracy, but let's see if I can hit this thing. I didn't hear it hit anything. I'll take these off so I can hear. And try to see where they're hitting. Okay, they're smacking that. They're really high. So I'm going to aim a little bit low. See if that helps me out. Oh, yeah. I have to aim just a little bit below the target. So it's kind of lobbing these things up. Nice. Hitting hard. Ooh. Hold that one. Definitely hear it hit the dirt thud really hard. All right, let's go up and shoot the pineapple and wood and see what we get with that. All right, I'm going to shoot the pineapple with 22, see what we get. All right, now I'm going to do a diesel pellet. All right, diesel pellet, I suspect because the sectional density is lower, we might get better damage. All right, diesel pellet. Oh yeah. Very nice. Uh, let's move on to the wood penetration and see what we get. All right, wood penetration. I'm just gonna let it sit there. I'm gonna let it have its knockdown power. Let it fall, so let's see what I can get. 22. So with that, with that short pistol, we're definitely impacting sideways here. Interesting. Let's see how our pellet gun does. All right, pellet gun. See if this will knock it over. Diesel pellet. <laughs> All right. Now, judging from what I see here, I don't think either one of these would go through the first board. Uh, but we'll see. Nope. So it's kind of hard to tell which one went deeper, but neither of them went through. So you can't necessarily say the 22 did better, except that, you know, the pellet definitely impacted a lot straighter. So what I'm seeing here, you know, if we look at the ballistic gel and we look at that little, uh, you know, skull simulation I made, I'm going to say, yeah, it rivals the 22. Now, busting through a harder material like the MDF makes more sense that the 22 would. 
because it's a smaller diameter with that same mass. However, being all the way up to a 30 caliber and expanding, it's pretty impressive that we got into our brain material. I wasn't thinking it would necessarily do that, which is really impressive. And looking at our gel, even though we got just a little bit less penetration than the 22 in the gel, that's actually really, really impressive because the 22 remained 22 caliber. That pellet looked like it might have deformed and it's already a much larger diameter. So for it to almost match its penetration actually kind of suggests that it did better than the 22. So can a pellet gun, a break barrel pellet gun, even rival a 22? Yeah, and I'm gonna, definitely gonna say that's definitely lethal. That'd be a lethal shot to the head with something like that. So yeah, very lethal weapon, not really a toy. So that's what you get today. So as always, comment, share, and like, and thanks for watching.